Hey guys, welcome back. Taylor here with the tradinganalyst.com. Uh, we're going to discuss um, several charts, but really quick, I wanted to mention a, a special offer that we're having for this week only. It's $100 off of the annual membership, and you can get that by joining today. So how it will work is you pay the normal price, and our system will immediately credit and refund you $100. Again, this offer about this offer is valid for this week only. We rarely offer discounts, and this is your one opportunity to become a member at this low price. All right, so let's get into these charts. All right, so the first chart we're going to look at is for Roku, and Roku is in a very, very nice uptrend. I'm going to talk about some specific levels here for you. So ultimately, I think that Roku will continue higher. We've got a really nice uptrend here. Um, you can see, boom, boom, boom. Started here, bounced here, bounced here, bounced right here, okay? Um, and if you're asking a question, well, it broke below right here and below here. I like to use trend lines as a guideline, not as an exact um, uh, to the penny bounce zone or rejection zone, okay? And typically, and I bet if we use the weekly chart, this will run perfectly against the bodies of the candles. So we have this nice uptrend here. I think anywhere uh, above 117 is a good buying opportunity. We also have this little downtrend line you can see right there that we broke over. All right, we broke over that. We're making higher highs and higher lows. All right, here was that recent high. We've not broken that, but it's higher than all these other highs. Um, we have this high here, and we broke that high just recently. All right. Now, uh, the first buy zone that I am seeing is going to be right around here. Okay, right around 145, about uh, $11 lower than where we're currently at. And that is because we have this resistance here, resistance here. And then we broke over it here. So now that resistance is going to turn into support. And it lines up perfectly with this downtrend line that we broke over. All right, so that's going to be the first bounce zone. Even if we break this and head lower, I think it's going to be a good buy zone, basically anywhere between 145 and 117. Okay. Ultimately, I think this uh, stock is going to head much higher. Uh, it's been performing really, really well. Um, and if it headed down to about 117, it would still be making higher lows. So now let's take a look at Netflix. This is the three-year chart of Netflix. I will zoom in in a little bit to the more recent action to give you some more specific levels, but I wanted to show you um, this longer-term chart to show you that we are very much holding this major uptrend. You can see bounced here, there, almost there, direct hit here, and then right here, this is very bullish. We broke below this trend line and then broke back over it. Okay, very strong action. Now I'll zoom in uh, to the more recent action and give you a little better picture. So I'm going to move my face out of the way. You don't care about my face. Okay, there we go. So what we have here is a false breakdown setup. Okay. Here was this um, uh, resistance, or I'm sorry, support, okay? Boom, 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 lots of support. We broke that support here. This doesn't count because it didn't hold over it, okay? Then we went and we broke over it right here, making this breakdown below this support a false move. Not only that, but today... We broke over this resistance. You can see clearly resistance the last uh, several weeks hitting that level. And then over here, boom, 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 lots of resistance. All right. So Netflix is finally acting um, right. I've, cho uh, I've posted many charts on Netflix um, about how it was bullish um, right when we did this move right here. Okay. We're currently long. Uh, Netflix, and I think it's going to head much higher. Um, as far as targets, uh, this is going to be the first target right around here. 
about three, about 315, 316 is going to be that first target. The next target is going to be this high right here. That's right around 335. Okay. We do have quite a bit of resistance above us. Um, I, as far as the longer term health of Netflix, that remains to be seen. But as far as just a, a bounce zone right here, I think it's a great um, opportunity to get in um, on Netflix. As far as risk levels, I don't want it to break, or you don't want it to break, if you're interested in getting along, below this trend line. Okay, Because if it breaks below this trend line, it would break below this resistance and this uh, support, as well as the trend line. Uh, and that would honestly be a short setup. Uh, right now, we are above it, so it is a long setup, and it looks like it's going to head higher. Um, the other thing to mention here is this last little piece of resistance is that high from the earnings uh, failed breakout. Okay, Once we kind of break over that, because earnings uh, days typically um, really, really factor in on the movement of the stock. If the stock is above that price, it's bullish. If it's below that price, it's bearish. Okay, So we want to hold above this um, resistance level, which was the earnings day. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the next stock. We're going to look at this stock, PayX. All right, move my face out of the way. And this one has a beautiful setup. Okay, this has been in a, a very big uptrend. We're just looking at one year of action, but if you look back, you know, three years, this is just a massive uptrend. Trends are more likely to continue than they are to um, discontinue, okay? And this setup really reminds me a lot of kind of this setup right here, okay? See right there, we were basing, basing, trading back and forth. We broke over this level right here and then saw a big run, okay? Now keep that set up in your head because I'm going to go to a closer time frame. And you can see a very similar setup forming right here for this stock. All right, very similar setup. And notice how more recently we've been trading, we didn't come down and hit this lower end for a while. We came up. We kind of base for a little bit, trading sideways. If you look at this, you know, this is a stock that has been trending higher for a very long time, and then it just needed to rest, okay? And it traded in a very tight range, especially if you look right here in the last uh, couple months since August, okay? And we're just now breaking out of that range. And when you see very tight price action, it really... Uh, factors into an energy build, okay? And this is a lot of energy building up. And energy builds up, um, that creates um, a lot of momentum for when we finally move, okay? Because price needs to expand here, and then it needs to contract and build up energy. And this is where all the buying and selling happens in here. This is where all the big boys um, are buying. And then once all the selling is done, they let it go, and I believe that PayX is going to head to new all-time highs. The first resistance is going to be really uh, just overhead at about 86 bucks, right there from this resistance. The next and final resistance is going to be up here at about $87 based off of these levels right here. Ultimately, I think it's going to break both of these. Uh, we've been trading sideways for a very long time. Uh, and we're just now breaking out of that range. I think PayX, um, or PayChex, sorry, P-A-Y-X, um, is going to head much, much higher. This is exactly what you want to see. This is a stock that is flagging um, near all-time highs, just below all-time highs in a very bullish market. All right, let's take a look at the next uh, chart here. Google. Another very strong chart here. Okay, you can see 
We had resistance here, there, right here. We just recently broke over it. So I believe the breakout is just starting here for Google. Um, as far as uh, dip opportunities, anywhere between where we're at now, you know, 1319 and 1290 is a buying opportunity. If it closes below about 1290, that's going to be a risk uh, level that I don't want it to breach. Um, you can kind of use that um, as a level, but ultimately I think it heads much higher. I want to show you the monthly chart because this is just a beautiful, beautiful setup. Okay, You can see we had been trading sideways right here. Oops. Okay, within this very tight range for a very long time. Okay, very, very tight range for almost two years. And we're just now breaking over it. Literally, just now. Just now breaking over it. This is the very beginning of a breakout. At least that's the way that I'm seeing it. You can see very similar setup over here. Traded sideways for a couple of years. Okay, right here. This was uh, right before the 2016 breakout. Um, you can see right here at the end of 2016 is when it started, and then boom, broke out. Okay, it's a very similar setup. Trading sideways, boom, 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 and then now we're finally breaking over it. If you use the monthly and weekly charts, it really shows you a more clean picture. Okay, doesn't this look so clean to you? looks very clean to me. Whereas now, let's go back to the daily, and this looks somewhat more erratic. Okay, it looks a little more erratic. You know, this action here was hard. We made a new high, made a new low, made a new high, yada, 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 and it looks a little bit more difficult. But again, it looks so much cleaner on the monthly chart, and that really helps to... Um, give you a clearer picture. So highly recommend using weekly and monthly charts in addition to um, the daily charts to help you get a bigger picture view um, and a cleaner view. Uh, the next one we're going to discuss is the book. And we'll start with the monthly chart here. Um, and then we'll go into the more uh, zoomed in picture on the daily charts. So right now, on Facebook, we are right below this major resistance. We're pretty much right at it, okay? Right at it. Right at that major resistance. And this is the monthly chart. So I'm using the closing of the candles. You can see this month uh, broke over it, but then ended up closing below it. Same with this month. Tried to break out over it, but ended up closing below it. Same with this month. But consistently, this is where the bodies. Um, ended up uh, being. We also have a very tight range right here. Do you notice that? And it is a little bit of an uptrend too. Trading very tight. So I believe if we have a monthly close over essentially where we're at now, over 198, which is very possible this month because this is, um, as of this moment, uh, we've got about uh, I think like 11 trading days or something like that. Or let's see, anything? Yeah, about 11 trading days, something like that, um, until the end of the, the month. So a monthly close over about 198 would send this much, much higher. So let's take a look at the daily chart. All right, so I'll move my face out of the way a little bit. So, very clear level here is right here. Flat top resistance, very clean. Uh, we broke over it here on earnings, okay? Came back to retest it, and then ended up bouncing after that, all right? Very positive action. I think ultimately, a daily close really over the high of this earnings day. So really, um, a close over like, what is this high? Uh, 198.09. So basically, 198 is our, our level here on the daily chart and the weekly chart, or uh, the monthly chart. So a close over this level right here, that would be, uh, that's resistance here, here. It's clearly resistance over here, so this is a big level. That's why we gapped up, and then we closed red. Notice here, we're also trading 
somewhat sideways in a compacted uh, range right here, and that is going to give juice for an upside move as well. We also have, just like I mentioned on the monthly chart, but if you look here, this was a lot of sideways trading action. And remember, like I mentioned earlier, sideways trading action builds up a lot of energy for the next move, whether it's higher or lower, you know, remains to be seen. But right now, we broke out of the upside move. So this three-month sideways consolidation, okay, is going to give us a lot of energy for that ultimate move higher that I think will come. But again, I really wanted to show some more strength and break over 198. Uh, break over 198 would really seal the deal uh, for me personally. So if you don't already know, I run a trading alert service here at thetradinganalyst.com. I text message you whenever a position is entered or exited. Uh, so you can see the average winner is more than double the size of the average loser here. And over the course of the last 18 months, this is how long we've been using this portfolio tracker, the total gains for following all of these alerts, the wins, the losses, the break-even trades, everything is factored into this, $317,000 following these alerts. So I'd like to invite you to join today. In addition to these alerts, you're also going to get uh, member videos. You're going to get an educational section. You're also going to get a watch list where we cover uh, about 90% of our trades um, are put onto the watch list ahead of time with a um, point of action that we're looking to take place, and that's going to help you prepare ahead of time. In addition to that, there's also an open position list. It lists all of our open positions. We have about 12 open positions right now. Most of them are deep in the profit zone, and uh, it's going to list the stop loss, the target, and the reason for the trade within that open position list. And it's really just going to give you a transparent view of everything that we're looking at um, to help you grow your account on a consistent basis. In addition to the alerts, the videos, the watch list, the open position list, you're also going to get virtually 24-7 access to me personally. If you have any questions, I'm here to help you. If you have any comments, I'm here to help you. Um, you, and I just want you to feel like you can use me. I'm going to be your mentor, your teacher, and you can learn from me on a daily basis. So I'd like to invite you to join right now. And you can actually do so, again, like I mentioned earlier in the video, for $100 off of the annual membership. This uh, offer is only valid for the annual membership. No other uh, memberships are um, at a discount right now. This is valid for this week only. So again, as a reminder how it works, pay the normal price and our system will automatically and immediately credit your account and refund you $100. So sign up today and I'll start sending you alerts that'll put money in your pocket on a consistent basis. I hope to see you in there.